Okay, everybody. So I know I've been posting a lot of videos lately, but uh, there's not that much content online on YouTube about certain palm species and how to do certain things. So I posted a video the other day of uh, cleaning Adonidia morelii seeds, taking off the pulp and scrubbing them really well, putting them in water. And then what I did, do, what I did was I let them sit overnight just to dry out, but not really dry out. They still stay kind of moist. But anyway, I put them in this little container. And in this container is 10% hydrogen peroxide mixed with some fresh water and it's warm, not cold, warm. And as you can see, see how cloudy and hazy it is? Those are all bubbles. All the hydrogen peroxide is working its magic right now, um, disinfecting the seeds, killing off any bacteria if there was it. Uh, you can see it's crazy. I actually, this is the second time today I've done this. I did it earlier this morning. <clears throat> you can't see it right now. But uh, this morning, I actually had a froth, a bubbly froth on top. That's how much um, the hydrogen peroxide was doing its work. So this is typically what I do for seeds that I get that are fresh, fresh, that come with the pulp still on. If they come online and the pulp and everything's been removed and they're dried, then I do not do this step. Not usually. Sometimes if I have hydrogen peroxide, I will do it just for, you know, shits and gigs. But uh, I typically only do this when we have fresh seeds that I've had the pulp on. And because if I don't get the pulp off good enough, and I don't sanitize the seeds well enough, you will get a little bit of mold in the mix if the mix has slightly higher moisture content. So it's very hard to get right, but once you get it, it'll be fine. And this afternoon, after another hour or two, soak with this fresh solution. They are going to go into a cocoa coir um, uh, perlite mix in the baggie, and then they're going to go on a germination station, as you know, where it's going to be at about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And because these seeds are fresh, fresh, uh, they should germinate in probably, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. And I should start seeing them pop like crazy, like the queen palm seeds I had. And um, I just sent uh, a handful of these to my buddy Eric. So he should be getting some fresh ones that have been sanitized already, Eric, just to let you know, they were sanitized this morning and uh, hopefully you have some luck too. So I, I have, there's three Adonidia Morelii right here in a clump. Now they have a little bit of brown tipping, why? From the earlier uh, spring that was cold. We had a really cold, wet spring and they didn't like it. I had them outside too early, but no big deal. Uh, it's outgrowing it, the new fronds look good. As you can see there, Nice new fresh frond, nice and green, looks beautiful. Lots of fresh spears right there, nice and green, no burn. So uh, eventually, hopefully these will become that. Okay, everybody, oh, and that's a coconut on the left there too, just to let you know. Okay, everybody, have a good day, see you, bye.